Breaking story we're following tonight, ISIS now claiming responsibility for the deadly attack on police officers in Paris along the famed Champs-Élysées. TV 1055's Brian Connie Bear in our newsroom with the latest. Brian. Well, Dana, the Islamic State says it was one of its fighters with a machine gun who snuck up on unsuspecting officers trying to protect people in central Paris. One police officer was killed, two others were injured. Traffic is moving again near the Arc de Triomphe, but the normally bustling sidewalks of the Champs-Élysées are empty in the wake of an apparent terror attack in the heart of Paris. Police rushed in shortly before 9 p.m. Paris time when a gunman in a car pulled up alongside a parked law enforcement van near a subway stop and opened fire with an automatic weapon. The guy, he was shooting to police. This witness saw the attack unfold. One officer was killed, two others injured. Video from social media shows two armed men, apparently officers, near the police van as the drama unfolded. Policemen came and started to shoot to this guy, and immediately he's, he was down. Police confirmed the suspect, a 39-year-old from a Paris suburb, previously flagged as an extremist, was killed. <laughs> Heavily armed police tried to get confused shoppers, workers, and tourists away from the Champs-Élysées and out of any danger. Mesdames et messieurs, you have to stay back, please. The area is dangerous because of shoot gun. Please stay back. Security is tight with France's presidential election just three days away. Immigration and terrorism are two of the top issues dividing the candidates and the voters. Outgoing French President Francois Hollande called the attack the work of terrorists. During a joint news conference with the Prime Minister of Italy at the White House, President Donald Trump sent his condolences to the French people. It's a very, very terrible thing that's going on in the world today, but it looks uh, like another terrorist attack and... Uh, what can you say? It just never ends. The French president also says one bystander was hit by flying bullets, but that person's condition is not known at this hour. It's believed the suspect acted alone, though his home is being searched, and a full terror investigation is underway to make sure. Reporting from the newsroom, Brian Connie Bear, TV 1055. Brian, thank you.